Roxa Panda Girl here, and I just want to let you guys know, before you guys even watch this video, make sure you go ahead and turn up the quality of the video. So how you guys do that is, you click on the video that you're going to watch if you're on mobile, and what you want to do is press this little button right here. Now, it'll bring up a bunch of things. Now, as you can see, it auto sets to 480p. You guys want to turn it up to either 720 or 1080p. I highly suggest you turn it up to 1080p, otherwise it won't play because for some reason with the way that I record my videos now, it just won't oh play. But yeah, I solved the problem and I hope you guys enjoy this video. girl here, and In today's video, I am bringing you guys a lovely live commentary. Now, I am going to be focusing on where I've been, what's going on in my life, and all that stuff, you know? And I'm going to start off by saying that I initially wanted to take a break from YouTube. I wasn't sure how long I was going to take a break. It's mainly because I just kind of wanted to think about things, you know, figure out what I'm going to do with my channel from here on. I, of course, didn't run out of video ideas. I have plenty of them in my head, and I have a bunch written down that I want to do. But I just didn't take the time to record them, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to take a break. Maybe it's time to just take a break for like a couple days. Well, I initially was going to start recording videos on Tuesday or Monday. I think it was initially Monday, but I think I decided later on to be Tuesday. But on Tuesday, something happened to me that was very scary, and I never want to have to deal with that again. So... Pretty much what happened is I became what you would call dehydrated. Now, when you're dehydrated, there's two different types of it because there's one where you're outside exercising or whatever, which can lead to a heat stroke. That is totally different than the other dehydrated where you're not drinking enough water, you're just drinking energy drinks or pop or whatever's in your system. And what happened is I didn't get sleep that night that it happened. I was going to bed around like I'd say six something in the morning and I went and laid down in bed and I was getting ready to go to sleep and I lost all feeling of the right side of my body. Now in my head I was thinking I'm becoming paralyzed. What's going on? And my chest started hurting really bad and I was I was just scared. I didn't know what to do. I was texting one of my friends. He told me go upstairs, wake up your mom, or call 911, something's terribly wrong. And I went upstairs, and I started walking around, because I didn't want to, you know, faint or pass out or anything, so I kept my, you know, just motivation. And my mom eventually came out of her room, because she had to get my brothers and sister up for school, so I was like, I don't want to wake her up, she has to get up soon, so I'll just wait. Well, I started, you know, telling her, explaining to her what was going on, and she started freaking out because she thought that I was having a heart attack. Because, if you guys don't know, the symptoms of dehydration and heart attacks are very, very similar, and they can be mistaken. If you don't believe me, there's articles online, you guys can read about it. I read one specifically from a doctor that deals with heart attacks and stuff like that, saying that they get mixed up a lot, and it's very common for them too. But... I started feeling very dizzy. I wasn't confused, but the words that were coming out of my mouth, I wasn't really following what I was saying half the time, but I knew what I was saying. And I couldn't figure out what was wrong. I felt like I needed to go to the doctor or be rushed to the ER, but luckily I figured it out by doing some research because, you know, there's strokes too. And that's kind of what it felt like also because uh, my mouth was like really dry and I thought that that's what it could be. But none of the symptoms were leading to stroke besides like a few. So I took that out and it was between a heart attack and dehydration. And I just started drinking a bunch of water, like nonstop water, water, water. And eventually I started feeling better after like an hour or so. My chest still hurts to this day. Um, like right in the center, not where my heart is, but like in the center, and that's a normal thing. It, it sh still shouldn't be hurting as much as it is, but I talked to the doctor and she said that I should be okay. But I ended up gaining feeling back to my right side of my body, 
And if you guys don't know, it's kind of like a ragdoll effect. So it's kind of like if you guys ever played the buddy game where you pick up the dummy and you just whip him around and everything. That's kind of what it's like. You have like control over what you're doing, but it's really hard to feel what you're doing. So it's kind of like being paralyzed. But some of the symptoms that you get when you're dehydrated vary. I'm just going to name off of a few because everybody is different, but a few is like not peeing or having very dark yellow pee or just discolored pee, green pee, depends on what you're drinking. Um, very dry skin. Now I initially have dry skin because I, I have OCD really bad, I constantly wash my hands. Kind of a little bit of a germaphobe also. But it, there's a test that you do is if you pinch your skin and it doesn't fall back like dough or whatever, you can look it up, it's online. Um, feeling dizzy is a big one. I was very dizzy. I felt like I was going to pass out, but I forced myself not to. Uh, rapid heartbeat, which is the scariest thing because I don't know the correct term for it. Like, I don't know how to say it. I know the term. It starts with a P. Um, I don't know how to say it, but it's kind of like where you're on one of those life not life support things those heart monitors and how it kind of will go up and then it'll go down go up and then it may go down for a little then it may go up for a little and down you know kind of like that i i don't know how to say the word another one is rapid breathing now my breathing was really really bad for like three days and it still kind of is i'm still kind of getting my breathing back to normal but it was scary very scary when you know because you can breathe you're struggling, you're trying to get that air, but it wasn't working very well. Sunken eyes, I don't, I didn't have that. Some people do, but I didn't. Sleepiness, lack of energy, confusion, or irritability. That will happen a lot. It honestly just depends on yourself. I was very sleepy because I didn't sleep, but it made me even more tired. Um, lack of energy, of course. I hardly had any energy to lift anything. Increased thirst and dry or sticky mouth is a very big sign that you're dehydrated. Sometimes even like a puffed up tongue is that. Muscle cramps, I had that for two days after the fact that it happened, but I also had it the day. So I'd say three days. And a fever. Um, I got a fever later that night from it, but it wasn't that bad. It was all good in the hood, as people would say. But, yeah, so that was, like, a very, very scary experience. And, you know, thinking about it and changing my ways, because I was drinking G Fuel. Now, I'm not blaming this on G Fuel, because it's totally my fault. I wasn't having any type of water in my system like I normally do. Normally, when I drink energy drinks, I have water sitting there with the energy drink, so I won't get too dehydrated from it. But I was drinking G Fuel and Pop non-stop for two whole weeks or more without any water so that was my fault and I should have realized that before then but now I I always have water near me I even have water by my bed to drink in case I get really thirsty when I wake up in the middle of the night or something but I've learned from my mistakes and I don't want any of you guys to make this mistake because it is horrible it it feels like you're dying and that's the way I felt like I honestly felt like I was gonna die like Tuesday was my last day on earth but obviously it's not because I'm still here my chest still hurts as I mentioned like right in the center pretty bad sometimes and other times not at all if I'm doing physical work it don't hurt much but if I'm not it hurts a lot sometimes a little just depends but another thing that I want to talk about here is I've recently got a job now it's back at the gas station that I used to work at I'm doing the stock job again I did not want to get a full-time job because there's something coming up in June that I'm not gonna mention until like the beginning of June I won't be able to get a job during that time and I wouldn't know if I'd be able to get off for this or whatever but I just thought that you know I'd put that in there I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet but you guys will have to wait but I'm actually really happy to be back at the gas station because at least I'm making some type of money instead of literally being broke. Like, I have like no money to my name right now and it, it sucks not being able to buy your own stuff. 
I recently broke my controller because of a Fortnite game that I played in. I'll put a picture of it here because honestly, breaking your controller like this is it's dumb. Don't do it. Just don't do it. But yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much all I want to talk about. I will be uploading gameplay still. I will be uploading Minecraft. I actually quit uploading Roblox. I don't find interest in Roblox right now, so I quit it. I may bring it back, but I probably won't. Um, Fortnite is still there. Call of Duty is still there. GTA is coming back sometimes. Like, I'm not going to upload it all the time. But it'll be back. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. You guys can enjoy enjoy watching the rest of the Black Ops 3 gameplay. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, comment if you wish, and subscribe if you're new. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and peace out, my pandas. HCXD online. There's no substitute. I feel just like a rock star.